I'm Lenore Tunova. This is my studio. We're in the hallway of the first floor of the 249A Street Cooperative. Um, I've been here a long time since the beginning of the building. Many of the people in the building have been here a long time. So this is some of my work. I make prints and I make sculptures. And you see the two green sculptures here. Um, they're made out of the staves of a barrel um, that my friends brought back from Nova Scotia. It's a hand-hewn barrel that was used for other things. And I've taken it apart and put it together and it's this construction with uh, wood dollars. Um, one of them is from five years ago and one of them is from this year, or at least I added some of the stones. I begin to put stones on the pieces. The other thing I do a lot of is prints. And the prints here are made from by putting the paper and the plate through the press twice. The under plate with color is a water soluble crayon that goes through the press onto a wet piece of paper that makes that look. And then the top is a plate, and I'll just do a little technical stuff. It's a solar plate. I do a painting with white, with a black ink let it dry, and the process is applying light to the plate and then processing the plate. And so the plate's always the same and the color underneath is whatever happens. So now I think we'll move into the studio. Okay. So I have a lot of prints up on the wall. This is more the gallery section of my studio. There's always something there. And so this group of many prints in the middle of the wall were made with uh, wood blocks. Uh, doesn't look typically like woodblock printing would be, but it is multiple woodblocks, woodblocks using very transparent ink that gives you many colors. Some of my sculptures, um, I use fine materials in everything. Sometimes there are more holes. We'll see a window there. If you move to the to the middle, there is another. Um, more typical wood construction, I've added pieces of either turquoise or jasper, which can be turquoise colored, to do that. And uh, I've made a lot of sculptures that way. As I said before, those are made by using a wooden doll to hold them together. My latest series of sculptures are the small sculptures to the left. And I made this series, we'll see some in this room and some in the next room. Um, with the coronavirus came along and we were all uh, quarantining inside our space and so what I had in my space was the valuable stuff. You know I couldn't really go out and get more stuff and of course like many artists over the years I've collected a lot of stuff and so these are assemblage. They're the assembly of things that I had loved and had looked at and if I just get specific about oh a couple pieces the, the mug that is broken there was actually made by uh, one of my ceramic professors when I went to the Boston Museum School long ago. A cat broke it, and now I've remade it with the pieces, and I put in some turquoise just because it's beautiful, and it adds, you know, it's a contrast against the destruction and the beauty. And the one to the left of it is made with a, um, a doll that's the... Um, Symbol of the Michelin Tire Company, my artist job, which I had for a lot of years, worked for a, a specialty chemical company that supplied a tire company. So that's the connection with me. And the one on the right has a piece of an oboe, a wooden oboe. Comes from a friend who works to manufacture uh, Baroque oboes. And it was a piece that, for some reason, David used. So we'll go into the next room and we'll see some more of these little pieces. I call them smalls. We have a lot of different pieces from a lot of different times. As I said, I've always used wood. I love deteriorated wood and have many pieces in here. And at some point I started using these little glass globes and they are the older ones here. These in particular is one of the first pieces. Those are used to uh, were attached to Japanese fishing nets. And those come from perhaps the 19th century. 
and they picked them up on the shores of islands. And then, then I started using them. They're beautiful things. There are people still pick them up um, off of various islands, Alaska, etc. Um, and so, these are more pieces in the series that I call the smalls. Smalls in in the auction world. Smalls are things that you can take home in your hand, and these are of that size. And here we have this is a larger one. It has a variety of things with a wood duck. Um, it's meant to look kind of like bubbling water. So there are some easy associations in some of them. And some of them are just what I thought looked good together. And we have, so we have some more, I guess maybe I'll talk about this one. This is a, uh, it is a metal frog. A frog is something you put at the bottom of that uh, vase and you stick the ends of the stems the flowers into it and I happen to have gotten that and somebody just gave me the spider that his mother had from the 1930s so I get a lot of stuff from people who see my stuff they have something they like but would never use and they give it to me this one also has some turquoise in it and then you see some others that have a whole variety of things from a variety of places most of them have some turquoise in them because I love turquoise or imitation turquoise. And uh, the ones that are real turquoise are really much more beautiful than the ones that are dyed turquoise. And so we have them here and we have a few more up here that are of the same thing. Let me show you how I put these together because people do like to see how I put them together. Um, they're very good glues now. <laughs> and so you see everything is in a permanent place um, and as long as they're treated with respect they'll stay where they are exactly where they are um let, let's move into the printmaking area now the area of uh this part of the studio that has my printing press this is a lovely press it looks ancient but it's really probably from the mid 1990s um and the thing you want in a press besides having a big plate is one that never warps. So that's what this is good for. And the, the way I made my latest prints, which are called either mono prints or monotypes, depending on how unique they are. For this one, I started on a plastic plate. I draw generally on the reverse, and I think you can see some lines. Try not to make them too exact, so that when I'm applying the ink, um, it flows more naturally. And over here, I have the leftovers of the ink from the print I'm going to show you. So this is a drawdown, and this is just, you know, ink dried out. This was a new ink for me. It's somewhere between, it's oil-based, but it's water cleanup. And then over here, you look on the press bed, this is the print that came off of all of that. Um, there is a shadow in there that's not in the print. But so that is uh, the thing I'm doing in part of it's because we now have rabbits in the neighborhood. So, and I have dogs that I walk. So I'm very well aware of the rabbits in the neighborhood. And there's my sort of my homage to their activity here. And the last thing I wanna show you is this wall. Uh, just shows what this building looked like when we got it. And I loved it, and like if you go out to Mass Mocha, you'll see that they have many walls that they've left just this way. The only thing I did with this wall was I put some sealant on it, which darkened it down a bit. And then, you know, I've gone to many auctions, and this, these things are from farm auctions and people's garages and whatever. So once again, thank you. It's LenoreTenenblattStudio.com. It's where you can see more. And uh, goodbye.